What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. This is question and answer part two and I'm excited to bring you this episode or this video today. Um, I have a couple questions we want to answer in regards to the question and answer part and these are awesome. These are fun. Let's get right into it. Question number one. Well, I guess this would be number six. I'm answering the question that I deferred from yesterday. Which video have you uploaded so far that you enjoyed filming the most? And my answer is this video right here. This one is great. Okay, you'll find out here next. Question number two. What exactly is the difference between a llama and alpaca and how to tell the difference? I never get it right. So this person is wanting to know the difference. So, I had the opportunity, we have an alpaca farm out here on the other side of town. I went out and I talked to him. I said, hey, I need some information, can you help me out? And he said, yeah, for sure. So, let's jump to that and we will talk to them there and we'll find out the difference between an alpaca and a llama. And also, real quick, I have some actual llama footage and I got that just from our neighbors right across uh, the street over here. So the couple scenes where you see the llama, that's from our neighbor. I'll see if I can show them side by side the llama with the alpacas. That way you can kind of see the variations and the differences in the animal size and their, uh, their body shapes. Welcome to the video. I am here with Dennis. Dennis Lilly with Lilly the Valley Alpacas. LLBAlpacas.com. Perfect. And in regards to your question, difference of an alpaca versus a llama, he's here to help us explain the difference and kind of give you guys a better idea when you see an animal, which species you're looking at. You want to kind of explain? So, so the difference between an alpaca and a llama is a llama is generally seen as a 450 pound animal versus an alpaca is about a 160 pound animal on average. The llamas have what's a shaped ears or like a banana. So they kind of go up and they kind of curl. So if you see them sitting in the pasture, you see a large animal that's more than 160, 200 pounds, 450 pound animal is a pretty good sizable animal. With curved ears, that's a llama. And then alpacas, of course, have the short spiked ears and they're 160, 180 pounds. The difference between the two also is that llamas are used mostly for like uh, rugs or uh, clothing in terms of coats or the outer lining of a yurt if you were to make a yurt you would, you would basically take water and soap and you step on it and work it into a, basically a product that would give you insulation for the weather or from the weather elements for cold rain and sun um, kind of a felting material is, aspect is what you're looking for with the alpacas you have a wakaya alpaca and a surrey alpaca a wakaya alpaca is kind of like a, a short crimpy very, very uh, thick, soft uh, material that wraps around the animal. Whereas with a Surrey, Surrey has long ropes of strands of fiber hanging off of it. And so the idea is about a three inch maximum for the wakaya length of fiber and a three inch maximum of the ropey length of the material for the Surrey uh, to be milled properly in the milling process. Both materials make the same quality sweaters, scarves, hats, socks, whatever it may be that you want to have made with the alpaca and or the Surrey uh, uh, fiber. So it be wakaya is the soft sponge-like material, Surrey is the long ropes material for the alpacas. So that's basically your two differences. They do come, alpacas do come in a variety of colors as do the llamas. Alpacas come in 22 different colors. Oh wow. From silver to white to beige white to champagne to light fawn, dark fawn, black and a variety of colors and they're a very unique animal. They don't have any upper teeth. They just take the tips of the grass, new grass, and they eat the tips of grass. They'll eat that more equally uh, as compared to a, a taller grass uh, pasture. The nice thing about the alpacas is that they only eat two pounds per day. So from a oh. life stance, livestock standpoint, that's very, very uh, useful because you, you don't uh, overextend yourself as far as expenses in raising the animals. It costs about $270 per year to raise an alpaca. You get eight to ten pounds of fiber off the alpaca, and uh, 
and that retails for about $110 raw off the alpaca. But if you process it into fiber, mm -hmm. rovings and skeins, uh, where you have like yarn, you know, three ounces of yarn will sell for like twenty dollars. At, th at three ounces, it gives you 150 yards of, of yarn. Uh, you can see the retail value in that. Then, if you look, seven to eight dollars per ounce, and you take the ounce and factor that into eight to ten pounds of fiber, now you're looking at several hundred dollars, at well above the cost of of, of uh, raising and rearing the animal for the year. And that's per just the year. And then the next year, year they and you can they, do, they they produce it again, all over again. Wow. Great, thank that's you. Pretty much that's the difference. Yeah, no, that's that's great information to have. Are there any animals here on site that we could touch, or can we? Are yeah, any of them that no, we can. Yeah, we can go over to the to the mill site, and uh, okay. I can call a couple of the animals over there. They'll come to me. They're a very smart animal. Very a very passionate animal. Very uh, very gentle animal. Let's go take a okay. look at the mills. Let's go check them out. Yeah. The fact that people use them to guard. They're a great guard animal. Guard You're saying that's uh, llama, llama is a guard. Llama uh, and first guard. Yeah, the guard, the chief, the guard, alpacas. Okay. Uh, People will put them in with uh, their goats because if there's you know coyotes or dogs are going to be faster, it's the llamas that will actually stomp the coyotes and dogs to death. Okay. No, is that kind of out of curiosity? As a llama will come, I've it's heard just, that, it's just that, their nature. They're they're a little more okay. aggressive. People more aggressive. Say, well, okay. llamas will do this. Well, llamas will spit. Or llamas this, and, and that's true. That llamas will spit. Llamas are more aggressive. There's that's just kind of like their nature. Um, they're a very gentle animal too, but you have to handle them a lot. And it's hard to handle a 40, 50 pound animal versus handling a 160 pound animal. So therefore, they don't get handled as much. But okay. they do bond with the herd and they do protect the herd. This is so cool. Oh, that one's on his hind legs back there. Is yeah, that's, that's killing me bad back there. Okay. He's gonna go up in a second. There you go. Oh, look at that. I got good balance. Yeah. There they go up. They love these. Again, they love these leaves. You know, it's a good food source. Look at them. Look over here. That is so soft. Yeah. That is. Oh, here's one right here. Okay. Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but there's a good animal. The, the llamas, again, they will uh, guard a herd of alpacas. If you want to, if you're living in the foothills and there's mountain lions or there's coyotes, llamas are good to have because they will you know, make an alarm call. They will go towards the aggressive animal. They'll, they'll chase the animal out of the pasture. They'll stomp on the animal if they have to. Just to protect the herd. Okay. Whereas the alpacas, they'll do the same thing, but only if they have babies in the pasture with them, will they actually Young, go after a fox or go after a, a, raccoon, a raccoon or a or a possum. But otherwise, they'll just ignore those animals. The, okay. But they'll do it to protect the females, the babies. Wow. This is cool. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys, let go. <laughs> We're like, over. oh no, all the. Party's over. Yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry, go. <laughs> Wow. So you said these only have right. bottom teeth? Bottom teeth. They only have bottom yeah. teeth. Okay. I can take my fingers and put my fingers out if they were a bite one. My finger to put my Well you can see like there. you can see their teeth when their mouth is there, yeah. but I didn't know. The if idea is they have a, a solid they have a solid palate on top. And then their teeth are down below. And the idea is to get the alpacas where their teeth are lined up properly. So they'll chew the grass and they'll just wear down the teeth. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. And the Thank you, Dennis, for taking the time to share yeah. this information. This is amazing. So thank you. Uh, and again, if you want to just give your website, that was okay. L O V L O V Alpacas dot com. Dot com. And guys, I'll put a link in the description below so you can click that. You can come visit their farm. They are having a sale right now, and then again, they'll be having some opening stuff. Uh, maybe you can come visit in December. Yeah, we're gonna open at the last uh, weekend of November, at right for Thanksgiving, and then we open up, and we're open every day from like uh, I think it's uh, one to four. 
going to be our store hours, and uh, we close down on the 23rd of December. And that's our only one period for our store, and then of course, alpacas, you want to visit the alpacas, or you want to come out and visit with the alpacas, and maybe if there's only a few people, we can take you out in the pasture and have you actually, the children actually touch the alpaca. But give us a call ahead of time, make arrangements for that. And the so, phone number's on the website. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Visit the website. I'll try to link the address also if you don't find it. It should be on the website, phone number. Check them out. Come visit them if you're in the area here in Modesto. This is an awesome experience. So thank you again, Dennis. Yeah, you bet. Have a great day. All right, you too. Thanks thank for the you. time. Take care. All right, bye. And welcome back. Wasn't that super cool? Like to see, like Dennis just flat out just was like, Hey, this and this, and he, you know, the llamas with the banana shaped ears and the alpacas that are smaller. It, oh, that's so cool. So that's why you'll see now in regards to my first question here on this video, while this video was the probably my most fun video to make so far, um, just because I was able to go get, you know, involve other people. And that's what I really like doing. So if you guys like that option, if you liked and enjoyed this video, uh, hit that the like button or let me know in a comment if, if we should pursue more of this type of video. It was super fun and awesome. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow because this 30 day challenge is not quite over. So I'll see you tomorrow. Love your family, love your friends, love living life.